all right guys today's video is going to be a little different so all of my previous OptiScaler videos were made on windows 11 x lite 23 h2 and it worked pretty well but then i wanted to try something new windows x lite 25 h2 and honestly that experience wasn't great now i know my cpu is unsupported so i thought this would be a good opportunity to test something else that's when i decided to give atlas os 25h2 a try since it was recently updated so in this video i will be showing you some benchmarks from a few games i currently have installed it might not include your favorite game but you will still get a pretty good idea of how things perform overall Stick around till the end because I will share my thoughts and final impressions. And just a note, this isn't an in-depth benchmark or anything fancy. It's just a simple FPS test, nothing more. So like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. Let's get into it.
So Windows X Lite is great, no doubt about that. But honestly, the 25H2 version feels really slow. Even though you might see slightly high FPS, the gameplay just doesn't feel smooth. Yeah, it has a lower process count, lower disk usage and less RAM usage. But apps open and close slower for me. Now on Atlas OS, the FPS might be a bit lower, but the OS feels snappy, game feels smooth, like I can actually feel the FPS I'm getting. Apps load quicker, though the process count, disk usage and RAM usage are higher compared to X Lite. So yeah, 25H2 isn't really made for low-end CPUs. If you are on a low-end PC, I would go with X-Lite because it's lightweight and still has everything you need. Personally, I prefer Atlas OS, it just feels faster. But if your main focus is gaming, X-Lite might be the better choice. But honestly, are you really going to notice the difference between 57 FPS and 58 FPS? Sometimes it's just margin of error. So both OSs are good. It just depends on what you want. So that's it for this one. Until next time, adios amigos.